Hi, this is iPod Tutorial Dudes, and today I'm going to show you how to get open SSH. This is vital. If you forget a password on your iPod and you want to get still get it in here without um, restoring anything, and other than that, it's just a very very important thing to have in your iPod in case anything goes wrong. So we're going to start off. You need to download just one thing from Cydia. You may already have this. You're going to open SSH right here just and download that. Now the next thing you're going to do, depending on if you're a PC or a Mac, you're going to go on, open up your web browser, and if you're a PC it'll take you here, and if you're a Mac it'll take you to Cyberduck. So um, I'll just show you the Mac thing first since I'm not a Mac. Right here, just download this right here for Mac. And for PC, it's going to take you here. Um, here it is. Installation packages, I believe. Um, don't get the beta unless you um, are kind of know what you're doing. But if you if you don't, just get the right here. Don't want the more downloads. The installation package. So that'll download it. So you install it, and a program will pop up called Win S. Okay, so you're gonna open up WinSCP or um, Cyberduck, depending on which one you have. And Cyberduck should be basically the same as this. <coughs> so, when first time you open it, it's gonna look like this. And what you need um to find out on your iPad before you open this is you need to know your IP address and what it looks like and how you find it is go to your SPS settings. And I'm blocking it out just because um it's it's um it has some things that you probably shouldn't tell people. I mean some IP addresses are the same, but it still is gonna help you find out where people live. So just to let you know, don't show random people that. Okay, so it's gonna click this, and then your host name is your IP address. It's gonna be you're gonna open up your iPad, go into SBS settings, and it's right here where it says Wi-Fi IP address. So that that number right there, um it could be an array of things you're gonna write that down or memorize it and then you're gonna type it in right here okay so then your username this if this is the first time you're doing it your username will be root and your password will be alpine so you're gonna say login and just like that it's gonna pull up here so that's all you have to do to get it to open. And the ba this is this is the folders that you're in. Uh, most of the time where you go is you go in private, var, mobile. L those are the most, because uh, most of your stuff that you're going to want to mess with is in here. I mean, occasionally you go to other spots, but this is for the most part where you go. Um, if you want to, you can see your applications are here. This is, this is kind of like iFile, except just a little more in-depth, because you can, if you have, like, um, videos, you can just drag them over here into your computer files and you have um, other stuff here Let's see just, um, other useful stuff and um, if you don't really know what to do you can um, there are some things that require you have this like this is extremely useful if you want to get past a password and just stuff like that so um, I hope you enjoy having a very very secure way um, of this is basically securing your iPod and I recommend changing your password you can change it um, on your iPod instead of having Alpine because if anyone types in Alpine then they can get there too so you can just change that and that's really all there is to it so I hope you enjoy um, don't forget to rate, subscribe, and comment